best there. Yeah. You go to the local, you probably get cream. You know, you're you're, you're the best thing. Your block was not the best. In, exactly. You know, in the yeah. City. And yeah, then, that, I mean that was my story. Like I was the best in my black and winter tournament, and I was like, oh, I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're like, you think you're really good, but you're not. You're like, you're just scratching the surface. Yeah. Like it's it's still really good that a lot of people do make that transition from the best of the block to the best in the city to the best in the world. Yeah. And that that stage changes for people as they choose to go on. Yeah, I mean, the guys who were the best in the world started somewhere. They were the best on their block at yeah. some point. I mean, you look at the history of Smash. You look at like Azin and all of them. Yeah. Like, those guys were literally just the best on their block, and that mm -hmm. was it. And then they start visiting other places and start proving themselves, that kind yeah. of thing, so. Yeah, uh, we live, you know, we're actually around one of the best of the best block. You know, we're around Mango's block, you know, we're not too yeah, far from exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. The Norwalk area, so. Let's go ahead right into Dumbles. It is going to be Midnight Toast and Slimy Mike. And I, not events, but I just see be. We got someone. We got some guys, that's for sure. You got the, oh, that's a Kirby. I didn't realize what that was. He's got like a Kirby hat, the dark Kirby skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's how Beep. If you guys don't know who that is, uh, him alongside uh, Sancho Block, aka Sonic Mega, they uh, helped Chat to start out for. Uh, free for all? It is free for all. <laughs> What's going on, man? I was gonna say they. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They helped start uh, MSM. Oh, so, cool. Yeah, he's one of the, he's one of the founders. That's of awesome. MSM. If you guys are wondering, this is the side stream. Yeah. You guys can still go watch the main stream. They're at TG Gaming. If you guys are looking to see other matches here, we'll have Yeah, hit that, hit that multi-twitch. Yeah. But uh, you know which one I have the audio on. <laughs> yeah. you, you know which one. You know which one. You know which one. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. It's an exciting day. You know, this is considered the first the first big major, honestly. You have 540 plus entrants. Yeah, I mean, the, know, there's, 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 a, there's a couple of... A couple of weird, like, I think today there's a lot of tournaments going on in particular. There's the one at Florida, uh, Smash Conference. Yeah, United, yeah, yeah. I think. There's also Valhalla, um, I think, still going yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. There. There's a lot of tournaments going on today. So, again, get that multi-twitch, but uh, you know how to, who to have the volume on for. That's all, <laughs> that's, that's all I care about. Right. You never want to not miss a moment of hype because you're like, there once, there'll be one moment where you're not watching one stream. Right. And there's something great and amazing starts happening. You're like, hold on, hold on, what? Exactly. Or if you're like me, you just have three monitors. I just... Push on all three monitors. I think they're looking at the rule set, like yeah. what stages are legal right now. Unless there's something really interesting on this guy's phone. I Maybe he's watching uh, Valhalla. <laughs> yeah, they got the yeah, other yeah, That's it. Hey, you gotta... I know Leffen's there, so they're like, hey, man, I'm trying to watch <laughs> Leffen. Gotta watch Leffen. I think he's like 2 0 everybody. He 2 1 Grim, which is, for those of you who don't know, that's Silent Doom. Yeah. Dang. So Leffen's doing pretty good out there. Right, you know, as we get through this big pick and ban process, mm -hmm. um, you know, just to go over the legal stages, uh, we're looking at Smashville, Town, Battlefield, FD, uh, Kalos, which yeah. I think is a really good double stage. It's basically just FD with cool ledge trapping, um, and, then, <laughs> and then you got Stadium as well. Yeah. Um, and I think I said Yoshi's Island Brawl already, but looks Kalos like we're going to Stadium. Kalos is my personal favorite stage. I like, like you said, I like especially oh. FD with cool ledge yeah. trapping. Uh, but I like the design. I like the help swimming pool design. Right, you're in the water, which is the main stage itself. You're yeah. Out of the water, which is the platforms. If you choose to be out of the platforms, you know you can get some cool ledge trap in that situation going on. Yeah. And especially, especially with teams, like that platform allows for really cool ledge trapping in like a two v one ledge yeah. trap situation. Like you get one guy off stage, you just run over, help out your partner. Get one guy off stage, and then you know you get some really interesting ledge traps. But right off the bat, we've got. A Cloud Mega Man team, which I think is really good. I think I think like zoners plus sorties and doubles are really good in this game. Yeah, could be pretty good. Um, team compositions do really matter in doubles. Honestly, like you can you can run with the best of your best. You know, that's true. Choose, yeah. You know which character you're good at and just hang out with it. But when you're smashing a sort of team layout, you know, picking out which teams work best, as we saw in Smash Four, right? Right. Like, having team layout like Sheep Cloud was really really well. Double Cloud infamously well. So we are seeing Habib still rock out the Kirby. Of course, he's going to remain a piece oh. since Smash 4. Kirby kind of one of those underrated characters I haven't seen too much of. You know, a lot of people just disregarding Kirby is pretty bad. But hey, man, I want to say don't discount the yeah. ball just yet. To, to me, like, Kirby just feels super cheesy in this game. Oh. Like, like, you got to get the cheese. If you don't get the cheese, you don't get the stock. Exactly. Oh, oh spot dodge up tilt. That's going to suck right there for Kirby. And he kind of stuck right there. The ledge dude is in the middle. Yeah, and we'll see. Right, yeah, I was gonna say, what? How's this Mega Man gonna help his boy? But it doesn't look like he will. And a little bit of showing of the 
improved trump mechanics, if you want to say improved. <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes you trump someone and then you actually lose advantage for it, which is really, really weird which, to think which, about. Which force you to choose, you know, do I want to go yeah. for the ledge trump? Those are the options you have to really think about. Like, is it really worth trying to go for the ledge trump? And I do like how this Mega Man is keeping this Ness away. Yeah. That's kind of what it's going down to, you know, the 1v1 scenario. They're not really playing much of a team. They're just trying to single each other out. Which seems to work well right now. Mega Man is at 103%. I want to see if the blue team is going to start looking at that. And yeah, so far, I mean, the green team has definitely been benefiting from these 1v1s way more than the blue team has. Oh, parry? No punish, though. Look at where that Kirby dash attack only being one hit, of course. Yeah, that, multi -hits. I, saw, I thought it was a multi hit, too, but I guess it's a single hit. Or maybe it's one of those weird moves like Lucas Down Smash where you get hit by the first one, you don't have oh, to shield the rest, yeah, you know what I mean? Oh! Okay. Batter up, baby! And Pulse moving in, I mean, both teams have even stocks. I mean, Habib is sitting on the highest percent, so I think he's going to start standing back a little bit. Maybe try to stock tank enough to give him some oh. time, but get stuck with that neutral B. Yeah, the blue That's team. one thing blue team I kind of want to see start being aware of how this Mega Man is utilizing Leaf Shield. Right. That seems to be Mega Man's bread and butter here. Let's go for Leaf Shield land, walk forward. <laughs> it's so disruptive, right? Like yeah. you just throw on the Leaf Shield and then it, you kind of just force them to do something and you know your partner's always going to be there to cover an option. It's actually funny to me because it's it feels like it's more disruptive than it was in Smash 4. Yeah. Where it was disruptive, but here it's like really disruptive. Well, the, the hits are so much quicker, it feels like. It's like hit, hit, hit. Like if you're stuck in the leaf shield, yeah. you're there. You're not, not like going to fall out. It feels like the shield spins a lot faster, too. Yeah. But then, of course, you know, you can't get the grabs out of it anymore. You know, you have uh, to throw yeah. it. Bit of a change there. The two back airs, that's going to take care of that next stop. Habib by himself. We're going to finally get something on going here. Oh! The play that upbeat, able to stop Mega Man, but he's safe. Yeah, the jump. air dodge. Oh, did he have a jump? Yeah. Interesting. So you can still, you can still up, uh, up B and then jump with Mega Man. Oh, because he, he up B and then he air dodged the ledge instead of jumping. That, the that's, ledge. that's one of Mega Man's like better and better recovery yeah. there. You want to up B, then you jump. Oh, well, no. Okay, all right, we got, a, we got another stock. I mean, he's got this cloud at 104%. He was able to go ahead and get cloud out of the way. Down there? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mega okay, Man's okay. got a high recovery there, and he's able to recover the up B. Back air? Yo! <laughs> Habib is gonna make this work for him. Dude, he's got. He's, he's got a huge chance. He's yeah, got he's, a big he chance does, here. He this is a winner's chance here. He can get this cloud again and lose the stock. Oh! oh did he jump? Here. It looked like he jumped. I wasn't sure. I didn't see how that played out. I was looking to see, like, hey, if you can actually yeah, yeah. knock out uh, sorry, Cloud, you can start working on Mega Man in the one on one scenario there. It looks like he was really well looking forward to that, but unfortunately getting caught I wonder if you there. can rock to not die there. That's for, for I have no player. idea. Yeah, me either. Down B? Uh, it's, it's Two bands. Hey, man, y'all are competitors, man. Y'all got to learn the rules. Yeah, we got we got, <laughs> new, we got new rule sets. I mean, I, I'll, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. You know, two, it's two strikes, no DSR. Yeah. Um, and for a lot of people, this might be their first tournament. You know, a lot of yeah. people don't really go to locals. They go to the big events. And I like, you know, the ambience of being in a big room. Definitely. So it's like a convention, you know. There are also vendors here, so you can always go buy something and food. And then be in a room just playing Smash with people you love. There's a there's a full bar here, dude. Oh, yeah. That, that's where I'm going. You catch me there later. Yeah, the new rule set kind of, uh, you know... It, it, it's it's not complex. It just takes some getting used to for a lot of these guys. Yeah, not only that, you know, there there are some stage choices that seem to be not in people's favor. But I will admit, you know, the stage choices that we have currently, some of them, for better or worse, they're here, and it's yeah. that's what bands are for. Well, know? yeah, exactly. And to an extent, you have to think like you know, to what to what end do we do a stage list? Do we do a stage list to balance the game, or just to have yeah. the best possible stages that we can have? Exactly. And if, if and for those of you who don't know, the, the game is only going to be a month old come Monday. Yeah. So, you know, there's still a lot of things that we are going to work out as a community. But let's go on a game two for both of these teams. Yeah, we're running it back. Same characters. I do want to see Impulse just kind of hang out with the back. It seems like he had a lot of struggle against this Mega Man. I want to see Habib make the change, and that's what it seems to be going for. Habib's making the change with his partner, saying, hey, you know what? I'm going to fight this Mega Man. Right. He seems to be lacking here, and I'm going to kind of defend it here. Yeah. The, the one thing I'm noticing is that when you know when they split up and they kind of do their 1v1, 
when one person's in the disadvantage, you know, they're, they're just keep, like, if they get have a combo going, they decide instead of to save their partner to put some more damage on the guy that they're fighting. Yeah. So there are definitely times where you just want to get your one hit, run away, and, like, go help your partner. And so that, that's what I want to see a little bit more from uh, from the blue team in particular. All right, Habib getting some... That's kind of one of the things I've been seeing Habib. Habib's been going towards more of the stage center stage. I'm oh, sorry, he hasn't been going center stage. He's been going more towards the ledge. And that's kind of what you want to do on doubles, is hold center stage, force your opponent yeah. to be at the ledge, and start possibly working on team combos there. Yeah, games in this game are definitely won on the stage compared to, uh, compared to Smash 4. You, you definitely want to be holding that center. You know, ledge traps are good and all, but sometimes you got to get off stage, you go just like that, hit that back air. All right, but it looks like they got tilted there at 160%. Hopefully the team will be able to focus on that blue team. Still in a bit of a struggle against the green team. You know, not quite enough, though. I see a lot of high percents there. If the blue team is able to work on something. Habib, I like that he's trying to single out this Mega Man. Right. Because he knows Impulse is really being able to find Mega Man as well as he should. Oh, oh back air. That was a really good falling back air. Mega Man with two stocks taken to his name here. This Mega Man seems to be the one taking the stocks here while Cloud holding on to the stocks. That's kind of how it works, right? One one player, the stock tank, the other player seems to be the one doing the damage. Yeah, and Cloud in particular, you know, when we talk about stage control, he's that monster, right? Yeah. He, he just sits on the stage, he gives you everything you want. Oh, Ooh, oh okay. okay, all right, blue team coming alive. Able to seal those stocks out, and maybe they can put some percent on, even it up. Oh, I'm, like, I'm liking this, like, you stay in front. I'll, I'll, I'll hold your back. I'll, I'll hold the red card, yeah. yeah. And that comes from them being at center stage, exactly. right? Like, they're able to put out that team work right there, being center stage, taking control of that. Yeah, and, it, and it's such a simple concept, but it's so easy to tunnel vision, and you're like, I see a guy, I want to hit a guy. Yeah. I see a guy, hit a guy. Yeah, see a guy, I'm, hit, hit a guy. I'm hitting something, man. <laughs> see something, say something, that's all. <laughs> oh! Dude, okay. That was close. That was really Impulse close. had the read of his life right there, and just <laughs> released the A button just a, a second too soon. Oh, Habib trying to charge the hammer though, but he's taking damage to himself. Oh, air back. back uh, and he goes for the damage. Damage. Oh, he needed one more. He needed one more. Blue team definitely making this look a lot better Closer, than yeah. the last one. I mean, oh, okay, we got team combos. Finally, something going on there. Able to get something off that PK fire. Yo, the Habib blue team. another opportunity, but he, unfortunately, oh. that's going to be a friendly fire. This is relatively even if the green team can take yeah, the stock on off on 98%. Want to be careful at that ledge though. Mega Man has been uh, very keen to get edge kills. Uh, Habib want to pick and choose his moment to land back on the stage. Mega Man looking for that back air. Unable to find it. Habib goes for the high recovery. Able to land. Impulse having some damage here on this cloud. The green team has really got to make something happen though. Okay, so far, I like how he's playing here. Cautiously here, getting this Mega Man. Oh, the cloud there, that's yeah. in their favor. And you, and you saw it. Impulse there was like, or Habib rather. Habib said, you know what? I've got a cloud in the corner. I could attack him, but why don't I help my boy out? Yeah. And they seal out the stock because of it. Teamwork seems to be working out much well for them this game than it was in the first game. And I feel like that's where they were lacking here. And that oh. smash is not going to take it, though. But I do like how Habib is taking the lead, saying, you know, I have the extra stock. Don't worry about it. Let me be the one in lead info. Stay behind. Cover the cover the landing. Right. That leaf shield feels so safe. Like, like if they shield it, you just run away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those moves that's kind of been improved a little bit more in the game. Oh, that forward air. I've never seen someone die to Mega Man forward air oh. like that. Oh, oh, forward smash from Impulse going to even up. The score one one between these two. <laughs> this is okay. That I like that game a lot. That was a slobber knocker. That, that was that was much better. Yeah, yeah definitely. I don't like. I don't, I'm not. A, I'm not a huge fan of that word, but that accurately describes what just happened in front of us. And so, midnight toast and slimy Mike. First of all, that's a great tag. Those are those are <laughs> slimy. These Mike. are some names. These are some yeah, these are good. Uh, midnight toast. Can you imagine Mike. though, like you're, you're in bracket, you know, you practice against the best of the best in your little yeah. town. And then you're like, all right, man, time to go to my first major, and you lose the guy named Slimy Mike. That'd be rough, man. That'd be rough. Hey, Slimy Mike, though, no slouch. Don't sleep on Slimy Mike, right? right? You can't, you don't can't. sleep on that, Slimy Mike. That's the Mike. rule, though. You don't sleep on anybody, yeah. right? No matter what. Like, some people have that huge thing where they go, they see their bragging, and be like, oh, I know this player. He's free. And then right. they lose to him, and they're like, come on. Right, right. Never never sleep. Never be a player that sleeps. You always want to be cautiously aware of your next opponent. Have confidence, but respect your opponents, because you're the know. If you train hard, there's always someone who trains twice harder than you. Yeah. There always is. Definitely. And, you know, I respect 
both of these teams sticking to their guns, saying this, this is our team, we make it work. Yeah. All right, I kind of like how Habib is kind of staying a little bit of a wall there, just trying to see how the situation is going to go when the team comes towards them. And they're both kind of in the middle of a roundabout. Yeah, and, and, and standing backwards, and like like having the back face them, you know, you get the up tilt, you get back airs. There, there's, there's so many good zoning tools that Kirby has in that situation. I mean, it's Kirby, you don't have a lot of zoning tools in general, <laughs> but that's all you got. All right, looks like Tilted is starting to work on this nest here, getting caught by the cross slash. That's not gonna kill yeah. though. It always looks scary. It's still you, you, you get cross slash at zero percent, zooms in. I'm like, all right, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing with Little Mac, like forward smash and stuff like that. It's such a weird mechanic that they you really feel in. the oomph to it too, yeah. like visually and like visually and you know by audio. Yeah. Be barely gonna live that one, but Tilted will not. Power throw? Okay, no, that, that it. was actually really close though. It was good though, I mean, either way, if it's not gonna kill, it's gonna buy impulse and time on the stage there. Mega Man gonna hit by a Yeah, where are you going? Where are you going? I'll be working on the cloud. Impulse looking at probably cloud blast and everybody missed it. Oh, oh no! Fire coming up from Tilt. From, oh, I say Midnight Toast might be uh Yeah, I'm not sure who's who. Oh. Hey. Okay, Impulse is really... Okay, I, I was like, going to say, Impulse was, like, in the corner, like, not able to get to Habib to help out, but... Yeah. Green Team going to clean up those stocks, yeah. get this to a four-stock game. But uh, Green Team also sitting on some heavy percent there on the cloud. I want to see Blue Team start working on it. Looks like they're both trying to team, oh. but that cross slash there, going to separate the team and bring it out for Yeah, cloud. And that, that's the threat that Cloud brings his teams, right? It's so hard to break his wall down. Yeah. Oh, oh no. no. And I felt like he actually could have recovered. You actually go for the first hit of side B. Yeah, I'm you not can sure. actually saw your recovery just for a second, making an extra chance. But even then, you know, the Mega Man here did such a great job of covering the ledge for him. Yeah, green team sitting on three stocks, uneven. It seems like all oh, oh. that air, Khabib having a hard time against Mega Man off stage. Even kind of the story there. It's really difficult to try to find Mega Man off stage. Those back airs, you know, multi hits. Right. They are stronger. They feel stronger. What just happened to this? He just died. He's gone. Right. Both players kind of designated their last player with two stocks. Mega Man wants to work on Habib oh. here. And that's kind of what he's looking at, right? Separating the team and going for the back throw. That's not going to take it. This but is super, super close to the green team. They've got to figure something out to, yeah. to close this lead out. It's a down throw. I like the impulse looking for the read there, trying to get something off the down throw. But the back throw here, and I like okay. the impulse yeah. ready for the team play. That limit charge was ill advised, I'd say. Back throw? <laughs> this is so dangerous. I, I would have not done that, bro. I would have <laughs> like, hold on, man. That's a little too close. For oh, no. And he got stuck by I the other. I think he tried to rock. Yeah. Well. Don't matter, though. I mean, they do have this cut on the last. Last bit of percent here, Habib. Right. Able to get that cloud. It's going to be an uneven game here. This is a very similar situation to what we saw last game, right? Yeah. Oh, the PK fire combos? I'm not going to kill, but I mean, racks up the percent impulse and really with the defense, stopping Mega Man from closing on Habib. Whoa. <laughs> my, man, my man tried to, to pop the New Year celebration a little bit too early. Okay. The pressure on the shield there, coming with the down air. I'll be just trying to get this oh. last round. Go for another one. Yeah, but you gotta go for that second it. one there. Oh, yeah, he's too low. Uh, yeah, and at least this is pulse. super dangerous. We have a dead even game somehow. <gasps> oh, he went and he saw it too because he knew he had to go for the up B. That was so. Best of three. Best of three. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. We. Okay. We saw at the end of that match what happened the entire set. Yeah. Which was Mega Man drop down from ledge, back air nest. <laughs> Not even that, like, just go to the ledge, goes back air. Like, yeah, that, exactly. Mega Man, ledge, back air. That's yeah. kind of what it was for the for green team, right? Mega Man, ledge, back air. Yeah. And I felt that blue team had a hard time. They were, they were starting to work on composition, like, you know, getting team combos. Yep. Sure, they may not be, like, a, a great combo, like five hits or something, but the little percents do matter in the long run. Able to get PK fire to a grab, PK fire to a forward smash, capitalize off one another. But yeah. it was blue. It was the fundamental game from green team that they knew 
if we're at the ledge, we can capitalize. Habib went a little too hard being at the ledge, trying to go for a down air, and that's what costed him, dude. He wasn't able to get those two down airs he was looking yeah, for. Yeah, that, that would have been it. Yeah. That would have been it. And, you know, if I'm the blue team, you know, I'm a little disappointed, but I'm not sad at all because they played really, really well considering yeah. the, the circumstances. Where, exactly. Like, game one, they got clobbered. Oh, definitely. Game one, they got they, clobbered. They, they, changed their, they changed their mindset, adapted a little bit, said, yeah. you know what, we need to hold back, work as a team a little bit more. Exactly. And even then, we started seeing them take center stage a little bit, right? Just trying to work on, hey, let's control center stage. You, you man the front, I, I man the, guard, the back. But, hey, at yeah. the end of the day. Wa one, wa one, watching a Kirby stand backwards in front, with a nest just standing behind, just kind of like waiting for you to overcommit to an option. Yeah. That's terrifying. If you roll into the Kirby, you will face something. Yeah. yeah. You try to jump over the Kirby, you're going to get up tilted. Like, th th there's, there's a lot of coverage.